Hey, everybody, it's the coach. This is Madden Football on EA Sports. Up next, we've got what should be an intriguing matchup between the New Orleans Saints and the Carolina Panthers. With that, let's get up to Charlotte. Standing by our broadcast team, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Well, it is just the perfect time of year for a trip to the Carolinas, and that's where we find ourselves at Bank of America Stadium in Uptown Charlotte. Just a moment ago, the lights, the cameras, the action, all the pyrotechnics, everything was ablaze, everything was allowed here in Bank of America Stadium as Carolina emerged from their tunnel. And we are ready to go as the Panthers get set to match up with Drew Brees and the New Orleans Saints. Brandon Gordon, Charles Davis with you. We got an NFC South matchup here. Now, this was the best division in football two years ago. They sent three teams to the playoffs. But last season, the Saints won the division by six games. CD, what do you see in 2019? Remember when this division was the most volatile one in the NFL? Teams would go from worst to first, and we kind of expected it. What can happen again? Bruce Arians now leading Tampa Bay. They will be much improved. New Orleans fighting to win their third straight division title. How about Atlanta? Dan Quinn, their head coach, has taken over more control of his own defense. And last but not least, the Carolina Panthers. It wasn't that long ago they were in the Super Bowl with Cam Newton as their quarterback. This is fielded at the goal line. They'll bring it back to just about the 25, call it the 24-yard line. The veteran Drew Brees leading out the New Orleans Saints, who now sit at 10-3 following that loss to San Francisco, 48-46 in Week 14. You saw it in person, Drew Brees, five touchdown passes. He was really, really good. He was, and against a ferocious pass rush because San Francisco came into the game with 45 sacks on the year, number one in the league. Drew Brees doesn't go down at all in terms of sacks. He got hit a few times along the way. But remember this, Lamar Jackson is kind of the gold standard for movement in a quarterback right now because he can take off and run so well. Drew Brees is not going to do that, but he'll give you a clinic on footwork inside the pocket in order to get the ball off downfield. He also had a rushing touchdown, and he becomes just the fourth quarterback in the Super Bowl era with five passing touchdowns and one rushing touchdown in the same game. Yeah, that rushing touchdown was the patented Drew Brees leap at the goal line to get another score for the Saints. From the 24, they'll go again on second and 10. There's Breeze. And this is a catch by Ted Ginn. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. It'll be a Saints first down on a gain of 16 yards. His 13th NFL season now, Ted Ginn, still a reliable target for Drew Brees. 787 yards in 2017, just five games last year due to injuries, but he still has the wheels. Ready? So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. This is Alvin Kamara, who made the Pro Bowl in each of his first two NFL seasons. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Nice play right there to stop him behind the line, but I want to see how this defense continues to play him here in the first half. Yeah, we know. You know better than I. He has the ability to take over a game. So what do you do? Yeah, I think you have to make sure that you bottle him in at varying levels. Because if you crowd everyone to the line of scrimmage, if he breaks through, it's nothing but room to run. 95, 56. On second and 11 now, Breeze. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. And the starting crew defensively for Carolina. Eric Reed is the safety as you can use all over on defense, both in the box as a tackler and back deep as a cover man. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. 
Shotgun now for Breeze. And he finds Cook. And he's going to get this down to the 35-yard line. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Panthers' 35. Well, sometimes our pregame meetings do pay off, don't they? What did the guys in the locker room call him? Well, they said it with a chuckle. They called him old reliable. Yeah, that means he doesn't move quite as fast as he used to, but he still knows all the tricks, doesn't he? Even that little gentle push-off in order to get open, he finds a way to pick up a first down. Ready. So from Panther territory now, it's first and 10 at the 35-yard line. Back to the ground, it's Kamara. And if there was a lane there, it closed up quickly as he stopped for no gain, second down. Well, we just saw a great example of what we talked about with his coach prior to the game. He's definitely one of the better linebackers at reading a play and flowing to make the stop before it turns into something big. Set, yellow waiting, yellow waiting. Throwing on second down, Breeze. Out of the backfield, that's complete to Kamara. It'll be a two-yard gain, and that'll lead here to a third down. And they're getting him involved early. You feel like they saw something on tape, or they just have a sense with him because he's had a good week of practice or something in that area, that they want him involved, just as you said. They want him to touch it either in the running game or the passing game, but they must like the matchups they're getting. Now Breeze. And that is incomplete. He shook his head right when he released that throw. He knew it was going to be a little off target. Yeah, the excitement got him on that one. Wasn't able to control the fact the receiver was open, and it would have been an easy throw. On fourth down, off goes Drew Brees, and on comes the Saints kicker, Will Lutz, for the field goal attempt. Oh, they get to the football. It's blocked. Now it's scooped up, and this is a live football. So the next time we leave one of those coaches' meetings and, and we're walking out in the hall and you're like, how can we spend so much time talking about special teams? Here you go. This is why. This is why, right? And look, I'm, I'm right there with you. We hear it every time we meet with coaches, but it is a big part of it. And look at how early in the game this occurs. They block a kick, and not only does it set a tone, it sends a message for the rest of the game. Yeah, so much for our first points of the game. So now a chance for points in the opposite direction after the block field goal. They get just two out of it there, and it's second down. First carry for Christian McCaffrey, who made his first Pro Bowl last year. Try to find a lane, but instead he'll get back to the line of scrimmage and no more. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. Offensive line really didn't give him any room to maneuver on that play. Things closed pretty quickly, didn't they? And how about the wrap-up at the end of that tackle? Left no doubt there would be no additional yardage to be found. You ain't doing nothing go. Throwing his Allen on third. Got a man, it's right. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. The Panthers have the first. It's a gain of 12. Fired that one in there, able to make connection on a nice in route. With those faster passes and they're going that fast, any hesitation as a quarterback that the deflection, if you miss, might be bigger and lead to an interception? Yeah, and the deflection works both ways. Maybe a defender gets a hand in the way and it pops in the air. And sometimes you throw it so hard your receiver can't handle it, and he pops it up in the air for the defenders to grab as well. But a moot point there is they were able to connect. On first down, this is McCaffrey. They give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. I call that play a success. A nice inside run sets up a very manageable second down, a very solid gain on that play. Down, 18, Gator. Come on. Back, back, back. 
And ready. On second down, McCaffrey. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. That backs him up one yard and brings up third down. A quick observation, Brandon, because early on in this game, I'm seeing linebackers playing with their noses close to the line of scrimmage. And my guess is the wheels are turning on that other sideline. As a play caller, you're filing that away right now, aren't you? Yeah, you're trying to find that opportunity later on when you can play action them or stick something to them between the second and the third Go! level. The line to gain is the 33 on third down. Here we go. Here we go. Working out of the shotgun, here's Allen. Complete to right. And they'll get this to the 30-yard line before crossing over out of bounds. Give him 10 there, good enough for a Panther first down. I don't believe that this opening drive is surprising to either one of us after the time we spent with the coaching staff and players prior to the game. What about you? Absolutely. Not only that, but that big article in this paper this morning about their philosophy on starting games like your shot out of a cannon, and that's what they've done. Very methodical here on this first drive. Yeah, so many teams talk about that fast start. We're actually seeing it happen right here in front of us. But now the kicker. Can they cap it off by putting the ball in the end zone? So first and 10 now from the 30. Here's McCaffrey. He'll yeah, get about six there as he takes this one down to the 24-yard line. Hey, when you get good yardage like that on first down, it really does a whole lot of good for your entire offense. But I love the way he's finishing those runs. At the end of things, he's making sure he gets just a little bit extra. Ready? Eight, three. Check, check. Walk 54. Walk 54. Check, check, check. First carry for Mike Davis, the former Seahawk. A minimal gain there on the eighth play of the drive. Let's go now. 30 base. We're scoreless after one. Second quarter now from Charlotte, and it's the Panthers with the football. And they're driving, but they come up on a third and short here. to get him on the ground before he got to the sideline but what great vision and understanding where he is on the field as he headed for the marker and picked up the first down from the red zone now. Allen, they'll set up the screen to McCaffrey. The first down screen pass, good for five. For a second there, I thought that might break big. Screen pass, looked like it was coming together, looked like there was an opening. Still, ended up with a solid game. Second and five after the five-yard completion on first down. This is McCaffrey. And he'll get this one down to about the 10-yard line. Just a gain of a yard there, and now it'll be third down. Partner, we know today's NFL is really built around the guy throwing the football. But these short runs, they still pay dividends because they can take their toll on a defense, and they can add up as the game goes along. You control the clock, you control the ball, and that way you often control the game. Allen going to try and throw on third down. And this is going to be incomplete. Chances are good. He's going to be a very busy guy. Two catches already in this opening drive, and they were looking his way for a third. I think they put this defense on notice that that could be a really, really frequent combination. Yeah. 
So on fourth down, Ron Rivera sends out the field goal unit. And his kick is indeed good. And the Panthers stay claim to a 3-0 lead. So they get three, certainly hoping for six after a 13-play drive. So you console yourself on defense by saying you did your job, right? If they go 13 plays, you only give up a field goal. You did a nice job there. But here's the other part. 13 plays, you don't force any mistakes. You don't take the ball away. Maybe that's the way they should look at it. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. This will be taken in at the one. And he'll take this across the 25, couple extra yards up to the 27-yard line. As the Saints come back out here for their next drive, CD, want to revisit what we were discussing earlier, their defeat against San Fran in Week 14. So, as I said, look, we know that they've clinched the NFC South, but that loss drops them down to the third seed, at least for the moment. You know, there's always so much talk about getting the top two spots in that first weekend off, and obviously that's important, but is that overblown? I mean, how important is it that New Orleans has one of the top two seeds going into the playoffs? Well, I think it's important for New Orleans because when you look at their past playoff record, they are 1-7 in seven on the road. Okay, at home, I believe they're seven and four. They don't have a huge, rich playoff history because remember, for all those years of being the Aints, they weren't very good. But now in this current iteration of this team, having home field is big. Drew Brees playing in a dome. But if they go on the road and conditions are benign, I think that that'll be okay for them. The tough part would be having to go to a place like Green Bay, which is difficult on anyone. Well, they're finished down the stretch here in the regular season. They're home against Indy at Tennessee and then at Carolina. So look, it's not an easy schedule, but it's not the toughest of schedules. No, not at all. They've got a great shot. And as long as they're playing in a dome, you might want to ride with Drew Brees. He lost two there, and it's third down. Some of these play calls, I think they're a little conservative. Well, you know me, because it's easy to sit up in this booth, right, and make all the calls and, and think I'm going to be correct. But I would like to see them open things up, because otherwise this defense is going to gang up on the run and set them down. It looks like, yes, it is six defensive backs on the field for Carolina. They're going with a dime set. Working from the gun, it's Breeze. He's going to loft one deep left side here. And that's caught at the 25. A big play. Breeze finding Thomas. 51 yards. Nothing conservative about that play call. You said earlier in the quarter you wanted to see them open things up, maybe take some shots downfield. There you go. Yeah, and that one was successful. But even if they're not successful, when you take those shots downfield, they've got to back off a little bit, loosen up a little bit on defense, and give you a little bit more room if you want to run the football. Ready? So that changes Ready? things in a big way. Now from all the way down inside the 30, here's first and 10. Breeze leaves this one with Kamara. They get him to the ground right on the cusp of the red zone after a pickup of five or six. I think we can safely say that those types of plays are the backbone of this offense. We know not every run's going to be a big hitter, but you know they'll take that type of result on each and every attempt. Ready? 95, 56. 55. Down to lose one. Check 26, check 26. On second down, Washington. And he'll get this one down to about the 17. A short gain of just over two yards as the first half clock dips inside of three minutes. When we talk about Luke Keekley, you can't talk about his overall game without talking about his intelligence and how he controls the whole defense. He quarterbacks that defense and at times will actually make checks just like a quarterback would on offense to get him into the right defense. They definitely were on that play. How about that finish? Looking for Thomas. He's got him. Touchdown, New Orleans. Michael Thomas there to make the grab. And the Saints have taken the lead. That's why you've got your star out there. Throw the ball to him. They did. That's simply saying we don't care what coverage you put out there. 
He's so good. We're going there with the football anyway, and there's not a thing you can do about it. Inside the red zone, they go to him. He gets it done. Will Lutz on for the point after. So he missed his lone field goal try, but he's got this one as that extends their lead. That time, a six-play drive, and it all culminates in a Saints touchdown. Multiple division titles, including three in a row, I believe, in the NFC South at one point. Won an NFC championship and played in the Super Bowl after the 2015 season. They lost Super Bowl 50 to the Broncos. His, his press conference after he got fired, I thought, was masterful. I thought he was terrific in it. He said he believes he'll be, another, be a head coach again in the league and another opportunity. And I believe that as well, probably as soon as this year when other opportunities come up. He will be considered strongly in a number of places. I think he did a great job in Carolina. Well, they don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. McCaffrey on the counter. It's a five-yard game, but they'll still be a yard short here with third down now looming. Two minutes to play in this first half. 7-3, our score. A reminder, coming up at halftime, Jonathan Coachman will join us from Orlando with our halftime report. But business to take care of before we get there. A two-minute drill before the coaches' two-minute drill. And he will have first down yardage as he's brought down at the 41. He's got his first catch here before halftime, and it goes for a first down. First down now, but the clock continues to move. Ready? First down, and they're going to throw with Allen. And that is incomplete. Took a shot there on first down, but he couldn't reel it in. Oh, boy, partner, did that just happen? I've got my hand over my eyes right now because, like, like him, it's going to haunt my dreams, too. He was wide open. How did he overthrow him there? Uh, defensively, just very lucky. You know that they got away with one there. Now. Back to the air on second down. It's Allen. And he's got McCaffrey open, complete. Seven yards on the play, and it'll be third down. Sometimes the most effective routes are the ones that you run in the backyard. You probably ran them when you were five years old. How about a little curl there against zone? But the key to it is finding hurry, hurry. the open spots in the zone. How a linebacker or a defensive back will widen to give you space. Find that area and let your quarterback hit you. Oh, Allen cannot get away, and down he goes. The Saints going to call the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a tick under a minute to go before half. So on fourth down, kicking it away here, Michael Pilardi. Deontay Harris deep for New Orleans. And this one hits at the three and then bounds into the end zone for a touchback. Drew Brees getting ready to go again on offense. He's played a pretty clean first half, a touchdown, no interceptions. Frankly, that's what they expect out of him. They want to see the ball thrown and thrown well, and he's able to do that and put it in the end zone. They'd love to see more of that before this game finishes. But right now, he's got his team in a good spot. A good spot, maybe looking for touchdown pass number two here in the second quarter. Ready, 5-8, 5-8. I think 54 Squeeze, squeeze, double, double. Throwing on first down is Breeze. 
And that is caught on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. The throw took him a little too far at second down. Great coverage there all around. Really didn't have many options to throw the football. Very little chance that that one was going to be completed. Every receiver was locked up. After the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 20. Now Breeze. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Now the Panthers going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. After the sack, they'll come up now third and long. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised to see them run the ball here just to try and get some space. And instead, they want to throw it off play action. And brought in by the tight end, Cook. Now we'll get a quick timeout called by New Orleans, number two, as the clock will stop with 35 seconds to go in quarter number two. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. From the gun, it's Breeze. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. Well, it's easy to see when we review this that the ball needs to come out quicker because if you don't throw it right on the break, you bring a crowd of people into the equation. And that's why it got knocked away there. From the 34, they'll come to the line on second and 10. Watch the screen. Watch the screen. Throwing now is Breeze. Going up top. And that will be incomplete. Tried to dial up the long way way out there, but it'll be third down. Well, partner, they're not content to run this one out as we head towards the half, trying to hit a big chunk play right there and add to their score. Now, this is a confident group. At the very least, they're thinking field goal. Yeah, and I don't blame them one bit. I don't think you sit on the ball going into the half when you have a chance to put some more points on the board. Now Breeze on third down. And this is Cook with a grab. Now the Saints will use their third and final timeout as the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go here in the first half. Ready. Couple of first Ready. downs to kick off the drive. Here's first and 10 up at the 46. Breeze to throw again. And that is caught on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. The throw took him a little too far. It's second down. All right, that one fell incomplete there, but the best quarterbacks, they'll miss on 40% of their throws somewhere in that neighborhood, similar to a great hitter in baseball who's going to fail seven out of ten times and still have a great year. In this case, you want perfection, but way better that it hits the ground instead of going to an opposite color jersey. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. 12 yards there, good for a Saints first down. So we've reached intermission here in a low-scoring game. 7-3 is our score. As we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at REA Sports Halftime Report. Coach! Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome, everyone, to this abridged version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. This one has been a hard-hitting affair to this point, and you got to expect we'll see more of the same in the second half. And to bring the action your way, let's get it right back out to Brandon God. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three.
Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. This is fielded at the goal line. And a pretty good return here. He'll be stopped just shy of the 25 at the 24-yard line. Out come the Panthers. They'll have it first on offense in the third quarter. And with the way this offense has played thus far, to be frank, they got to feel pretty grateful to be in the ball game. I would agree with you totally because they've done all of nothing offensively in this game, yet they still find themselves in a position on this drive where a touchdown can give them the lead. They need to take advantage of it. Yeah, they're still looking for that first touchdown here in the third quarter. All they have so far, the field goal. Starting the second half with a run by McCaffrey. And they're going to get him behind the line yet again as his nightmare afternoon continues. Trey Hendrickson, the one who gets him on the ground. I have to think a major focus of the halftime means had to be figuring out how to create space for the running game to get operating. Well, what you pointed out to me at half seems accurate. That line has struggled to sustain blocks. Yeah, I would agree with that totally. They've got to focus on staying on their double teams at the first level, make sure that block's secure before they slide off. Into a double team, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Marcus Williams. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. Ah, yes, the old tip drill works to perfection there. Ah, you're bringing back great memories. You used to love that drill. And a lot of times in practice, you work on it not just one tip, but multiple tips, just in case the ball stays in the air for a while, to have an awareness and the ability to go up and grab it. And then you want to get some blocking support and end up in the opposite end zone. In that tip drill, do you what do you yell? Uh, for, for, for us, it was Oski, okay? Oski different was an things for different teams. Different teams have different ways of doing it. I've heard bingo, jackpot. The worst I ever heard, though, was Frankenstein. You don't want it to be a three-syllable word. Too many syllables, yeah. you, want, you want to get it right down and go. Oski is really the preferred word. Oski. Lutz to try to add the PAT. And this one's right through to make it a 14-3 ball game. A heck of a play there defensively, getting the interception, navigating his way into the end zone for the touchdown. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. That'll be taken in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Here's the Carolina offense as they get ready to take over here. Start on the ground with McCaffrey. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. Running lanes were at a premium in the first half, but he's able to find some room there, and he's hoping that that's a precursor of a big second half. They'll operate from the 32-yard line here, second and three. They stay on the ground, McCaffrey again. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 11 yards and a Panther first down. First downs have not come easy, and neither have runs like this throughout this game. Absolutely not. He finally felt like, whoa, a sigh of relief. We got something going in the running game. Ready, go. 
Fight. Allen off the play fake. And his throw is incomplete. Greg Olson was the intended target, but it'll be second down. Just a little beyond the reach there of his receiver. That's probably one he wishes he had back. He wishes it had been seven on seven in practice, or maybe even routes versus air, because that's a completion he makes, what, 9.9 .9 times out of 10? Just missed that one. To throw once more on second and 10. Allen. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's made at the Saints 35. One well, of the advantages of zone defense, as I remember it, is being able to see the play develop in front of you. One of the disadvantages, when they find those levels where they can hit you with it, sometimes behind the corner and in front of the safety, it makes it tough to defend. So in Saints territory now, here's first and 10 at the 35-yard line. Throwing now is Allen. Wright's got it. Chewing up big yardage, another nice game there. This one goes for 20. time at the five yard line another nice gain that's now 30 yards between those last two plays and a lot of people ask the same question all the time why do we see so many slants in the red zone well the windows are tighter everything's more condensed it has to be quicker and you've got to deliver the ball on time your biggest worry ball gets tipped in the air because if that happens then it's fair game for the defense oh allen cannot get away and down he goes Cameron Jordan able to get in there for his second sack of the afternoon. And that's his second sack of the game, but this player, disruptive in all phases, whether he's going upfield, coming underneath, you name it. He's a big-time guy you have to block. the seventh play now of this drive as this is third and ten. From the gun, it's Allen. Looking left side and he's got a man. That's right. Well, this is going to depend on the spot, but it, it's not a very generous one. He looks to be about a yard or so short. A short game that doesn't get him the first down brings up a fourth down situation. Really nice job defensively. They knew where the sticks were. They got the stop before it. So out comes the field goal team now for the second time here today. From the left half, should be a fairly easy one here. And his kick is right there. It's good. And a second field goal here cuts their deficit to 14-6 to now. That drive took him inside the 10. Good job defensively to hold him to three. Yeah, I like how you did that. Give a little tip of the cap to the stop troops there because they didn't give up a touchdown in that situation, right? Made them kick the field goal. And yeah, points went against them, but that feels a whole lot better running off the field. So the lead trim down to eight as here comes the kickoff and it's away. This fielded a few yards into the end zone and no run back here. This will be a touchback and it comes out to the 25 yard line. 
Now the Saints, they trot their offense out here. They have the lead. Now they'll be looking to extend that lead. And this is where I enjoy talking about one of my favorite subjects, tendency breakers or counters, as I also like to call them. You've done things in a certain way in the first half, and they've had ability to see what you've done. They're going to make their adjustments. So guess what? You adjust yourself and try and stay ahead of the pace because you are looking for some separation in this ball game. The adjustment to the adjustment. Without a doubt, <laughs> show them one thing, hit them with something else. The run on first down gets him a couple up to the 27. Two yards on the carry there, it'll be second down. Well, they had that one sniffed out. Excellent run blitz. Stop that one for a short gain. What makes a good run blitz a good run blitz? The ability to stay on task, to follow up your assignment, go to the gap you're supposed to cover, and not be deterred by anything else. They run it again with Kamara. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. They're trying to show that they can run the ball, protect this lead, give it to the backs, play a little bit of keep away, don't you think? And that's probably a good philosophy at this point, going to make that defense stand up and stop them. So after the run by Kamara, now another first and ten. Now a handoff looking right. And this has been a familiar sight all afternoon as they stop him behind the line. That'll set him back with a loss of three on the play. And that'll make this a second and 13. Doubling this guy has to be a priority before moving up to the next level because the big fella, he just ate that one alive, just stuffed it. In fact, before the game, he was talking to us and he's like, hey, these pants make me look fat. And we said, nah, man, you're just a whole lot of guy. He is a well over 300 pounds. He's a big man. On second down, Kamara. A gain there of 21 yards. They're making it look easy out there. Another first down. So, so far on this drive, let me do this little bit of math here. Four plays, three first downs. That's a pretty good recipe for success. So from Panther territory now, it's first and 10 at the 46. On play action, it's Breeze. And Josh Hill has it. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. 12 yards there, good for a Saints first down. Well, coaches always talk about finding balance on offense. I don't think you can get much more balance than this. Big time run, big time pass. A one-two combination. Look pretty good. How about that? Let's see if they, let's see if they can continue to take that kind of a punch, though. Hey, Breeze oh, no. now nine of sixteen through the air as he's got it first go. and ten. Ready, to throw is Breeze. That'll be complete to Cook. He's going to be out of bounds on what's going to wind up being the final play of quarter number three. And we're back now in Charlotte. It's the Saints. They'll be looking to expand their lead here. They've got the football as we start the fourth. on the draw against a Camara. He will push his way down to about the 14. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. Well, no doubt here in the fourth quarter, this is a huge defensive series. Hey, they can read the scoreboard. They realize if they give up a field goal here, this game might be out of reach. They understand the stakes and are playing accordingly. 
If nothing else, they've already taken a couple minutes off the clock here already as they come up second down. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, New Orleans. A 14-yard touchdown. And the Saints able to stretch that lead out further. CD, it seemed like they were so focused on the guys out wide, they forgot about him out of the backfield. That's a really good point because you've got to communicate, and oftentimes when you start counting receivers, that's exactly what you do. You start from the widest receiver, work your way inside. Who gets lost sometimes? The back in the backfield. That's exactly what happened there. And he got into the end zone. Lutz with the extra point. And the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. So that one, an eight-play drive. It spans 75 yards. And it ends with a touchdown for New Orleans. After the touchdown, Lutz to kick it off. Fielded about a yard deep. And this return nets positive as he gets past the 25 and up to the 27-yard line. Carolina getting set to take the field. And tough to win games if you're going field goal, field goal, field goal here. They got field goal last time. Now they'll be looking for a touchdown. They're looking for the big chunk now because, as you noted, the field goal, field goal, field goal way of doing it makes it that much harder and puts more pressure on every possession for you now. Go ahead and get six and feel a lot more comfortable about the position they're in. Bigger chunks. We'll see if they can get the score. Here we go, here we go. 60 out long. The drive begins with a run by McCaffrey. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. It's a loss of a yard there, and it's second down. After seeing that, maybe time to go back to some downfield throws here. Yeah, anything, change it up, because the teams that win, the best teams, they're the ones that make adjustments. Doesn't mean you can't come back to what you thought you could get done. Sometimes when you open things up a little bit, you can get back to what you wanted to do before. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. So the shotgun snap to Allen. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he'll get to the 29-yard line brought down there. Only three yards on the catch. It's third down. You got the big lead defensively willing to give them that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle them after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. On third down, Allen gets this to his running back. It's Christian McCaffrey. A big play there on the catch and run. 47 yards. I'm not sure this is how they had it drawn out on paper, but this is going to work out for them and then some, right? They've got a big chunk they've got to pick up. They decide to check it down, and he just turns into a pure athlete and makes a huge play for them. So the big play gets him all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and 10. Now Allen to throw, operating from the gun. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. They went with a dime look on defense. Two extra defensive backs on the field have covered up essentially every blade of grass. That allowed them to disrupt the play. Once again, they'll go from the 23-yard line on second and 10. Now a draw play to McCaffrey. 
One yard, the official pick up there, so it's going to set up third and nine. Pretty good little two-play sequence there. You foresee incompletion, then a very short pickup. Yeah, now maybe you bring in an extra defensive back or two because you want to try and defend on third down. They like to play those nickel or sub packages, don't they? The Panthers on third down. They've had good success, five for eight to this point. This is third and nine. Allen now looks to throw. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. A good-looking drive so far for the Panthers and a first down here. Clock management, definitely critical here if they want to get back in this game. Absolutely agreed. They have to up the tempo in this case, down a couple of scores, want to make sure they have a chance to win this ball game. This quarterback now 12 of 17 through the air as he leads his guys up on first down. They'll run with Davis. And a nice pick up there as he'll take it from the 10 down to the five yard line. Not too many offenses want to turn down long drives, but when you're down what they are, they've got to pay it off with some points. Second and five now. Allen. And they've got the hookup. This is Olsen. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. Face mask. Defense. So give them the yardage on the pass and half the distance to the goal line. Because they're inside the 30. So now you don't march off the full 15, right? You have half the distance to the goal. In any event, that's precious real estate given up. So now then, the penalty's got him set up with a first and goal. On the ground, McCaffrey. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. That's a really alert defense there because they saw the heavy look come in from the offense, countered it with extra linebackers who brought a little bit of speed and heft and able to really make a big-time play for their defense. They come out here in the eye. So they're backed up to the three-yard line, second and goal. Again, McCaffrey. And the D not yielding much there. He's only going to get a yard to about the two. Well, sometimes I get caught in hyperbole, but I think they desperately need to punch this one in. They're running out of time. Yeah, two-score game, second half. You're down here. This is the time to put it in the end zone. Man, not going to get much better than this for an opportunity. So can this New Orleans defense stand tall again? Third and goal. Come get some. McCaffrey. And he takes it into the end zone for a Panthers touchdown. Christian McCaffrey taking it in. Is there now just an extra point away from getting back within one score? I'm not sure win-win is the proper term here, but it certainly felt like it. They got the touchdown they needed, but if I'm on the defensive side of the ball, okay, you got the touchdown, but it sure took you a long time. Yeah, because offensively there, you're probably hoping for a one-to-five play drive. That one ate up a little more time than they were hoping. You're exactly right, and if you have that one-to-five play drive, you actually build up momentum and even more hope. When they had to slog their way downfield, they got the touchdown, but it's almost like, ah. Yeah, yeah you know, it doesn't you kinda, feel right. Exactly. <laughs> Extra point splits the uprights as this gets him back within a touchdown and a two-point conversion. So the lead trim down to eight as here comes the kickoff and it's away. 
This will be taken in at the one. And nice work on the return as they'll start their drive just past the 30-yard line. Out onto the field comes New Orleans. After the touchdown we just saw, we have a brand new ball game. And now look at the situation. You've got plenty of time on the clock. Defensively, they have three timeouts. So do you run the football here or do you throw it? I think you have that full conversation with your offensive unit. And you tell them, here's the situation. They've got all their timeouts. So we are not going to play this conservatively. We've got to attack them. We've got to make them use those gain the ground that we need in order to put this game away. If you think we're just going to run it three times and punt it, you've got another thing coming. Yeah, I and mean, by the way, also the two-minute warning in play, so essentially four timeouts left. They have to be aggressive here. Give him nine there on the first down completion. Another yard would probably put this thing in the books. It's second and one. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So it's Saints football as we get you reset. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. On the ground, Kamara. And he's going to have to protect the football and take his lumps here at this stage of the game as they stop him behind the line. This is a big third down, and you'd have to think we'd see a timeout right away if they can't stop him here. Here's Kamara trying to run for it. And he is going to have the first down, and that is going to suck the life right out of this crowd. And now with 1.52 to go, we get another pause in the action. A timeout here defensively. Totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. They'll run. This is Kamara. And he'll be taken down just shy of midfield. Now the Panthers going to signal for their third and final timeout as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. So they come up on second down. If they can get another run like we just saw, would likely put an end to this thing. Now Kamara. And he'll get across midfield and into Carolina territory. Now it looks like we'll get a timeout as there's a Saints player down here on the field. While the training staff works on him, we'll step aside and be right back. To throw his breeze. And he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. And a sack by one of the most consistent D linemen in the game, Gerald McCoy. Well, every now and then you just absolutely outguess yourself. Third and inches, and they decide not to run the ball, you end up seeing the end result. The end result was not good. They elect to pass, and it backfires. Here's Thomas Morstead now, as he's on a punt for the first time this afternoon. And this is going to hit the goal line and continue on into the end zone for a touchback. So now the Panthers 
down 21-13, a little under a minute to go. They need a touchdown and, of course, the two-point conversion as well. To throw is Allen. And he's got the hook up to Moore. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. 23 yards on the play. This is where hustle and urgency come into play. I think you've got to get up there and spike it. First down now, but that clock rolling. Right there. 54, right there, right there. 54, Mike. Shoot. Allen to throw. And he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. Cameron Jordan in there to drop him as that clock continues to run. And they need to work to at least get some of this yardage back after the sack. Second and 19. He'll look to throw. And that is incomplete. Two seconds left on the clock. Christian McCaffrey, last year's catch leader among running backs, the intended receiver. And it'll bring up third down. Let's go. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. One final shot. They'll look to throw. And he finds a man. It's Olsen. And able to rip off a big chunk of yardage before being dropped inside the 40. Well, going into the final play of this game, they knew that they needed some type of a miracle there at the very end, but they couldn't get it done. However, we were treated to really a spectacular affair. Even though they didn't finish it off, you're exactly right. They took us down to the last play. We're still... You were wondering, could it happen? Possibly, even though we both knew it was a long shot. So that'll do it for my partner, Charles Davis, and the best darn crew in the industry. I'm Brandon Gauden. This has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. Till next time, we say so long from Charlotte.